Hi there, how are you? Mm, wow, no response is pretty disappointing. From reading your profile, I was actually excited to talk to you. Hey, sorry about that, Phil. I check this once or twice a week because I try not to be super involved with social media. Well, I'd prefer you to be super involved with me and this. Try a little harder moving forward. Is that clear? <sighs> it's cold out. So cold. I could come round and try to keep you warm. Winky face. Uh, I have central heating. You could show me how it works. Okay, here's a picture, buddy. That's how it works. So, what do you mean? It's a rare disease. I need to see fresh girls without dress to be alive. I want to see you without dress or I will die. <laughs> That's so funny. What's it called? It's not a joke, okay? Real disease. It's called Anudispedia. You can't find on Google. Don't search. Uh, okay, what happens if I don't send you pics? My skin turn red and I will slowly puke blood and die. Just send. I might be overstepping my bounds by asking, and if so, then please tell me. But I think that it's time for a nude. Yeah, no, I'm sure that it's time for a nude. No, I meant several nudes, like four or five at least. No need to tell anyone, but I've always just been curious. I've always felt like you would look really good naked. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that I am. Hey. Would you be open to getting some dinner and watching a movie with me? Hi, sorry, who is this? I don't have a large majority of my old contacts. <laughs> sorry. I'm Dexter. You were in line in front of me at Starbucks in Laguna and you smiled at me. I overheard you giving your number to the employee and I remembered it. <laughs> I have great memory. And I thought you were really beautiful, so I wanted to ask you out. <laughs> you have got to be absolutely kidding me right now. I mean, I guess that's one way to get a girl's number. Hi, listen. Um, what? Why are you always angry on me? Because you're an adult man talking to a 16-year-old girl. But I act as a kid. So I am a kid. <laughs> Level 100 logic. Uh, what color panties are you wearing? Suck-on. What color is that? Suck on these nuts! 12 years of silence is very impressive. Record breaking even. Bravo! But does your hatred of me run so deep for something I did as a child? Can you remember the reason we found? I can. And it was laughable looking back now as an adult. Or is there another reason? This silence is among the highest end of maddening tortures. You truly are a master. For not knowing drives me insane. But it's almost becoming a contest. Only things born of the wild howl in silence. Set me free, break the silence, or continue this and truly set the challenge. Hi, Edward. It's Jeannie from work. I was wondering if there's any way you could cover my 5 to 10 tomorrow. I have an emergency dentist appointment. Why are you texting to my husband? What the frick? How did you get his number? Whore. Um, if you read the messages, you can see that I work with him and I'm trying to get a shift covered for medical reasons. One of our managers gave me his number so I can get a shift covered. You don't text married man, you stupid bruh. You have to ask your manager. Take day off. I did ask the manager. She gave me his number. I did literally nothing to you. Stop texting me. I don't give a damn if you need switch. You just want his number. War and use an excuse to talk to him. You ask the manager, day off. Don't play stupidity. You text to my husband. Get lost, stupid douchebag. Delete his number. Use excuses to get his number, and the manager shouldn't give you his number, no matter what. This is private number, no public number for <laughs> Do you have smelly feet? Let me see your feet. Hi. Uh, hi. Hey, who's this? Ahem, <clears throat> it's Brandon from class. Sweating profusely. Um, I think you got the wrong number. <laughs> Looks down at the ground, twirling thumbs. Shannon g gave me your number. That's cool, but you have the wrong number. I'm a 25-year-old man. Come on, it's Brandon from Econ. 
I asked Shannon for your number. Let's hang out. Hand itching to unzip pants. Brandon, you have the wrong number. I'm not a woman. I literally have a mustache. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, you poor, poor man. <laughs> no. Yes. Can you do a free piece for my uncle who's dying? He wants something like this. <laughs> um, what? Please, he has cancer. He is cancer. You're a douchebag. That's freaking rude. So is pretending a family member is dying for my little pony born. Gorgeous, baby. Whoa. You're astonishing. And I mean that too. Hey, have a selfie of me. Can we please have a video chat or talk on the phone? No. I don't know you, and I'm 15. <laughs> You're really 15? There's no way. You look so mature, bae. I don't think it's weird that a 21-year-old and a almost 16-year-old talk or have a conversation. Do you? <laughs> okay, I'm not 15. I'm 14, but I turn 15 soon, and I'm starting high school in a month. <gasps> are you really? So you are a freshman? That's so adorable, sweetheart. You're perfect. I think that you are going to do very well in high school. Do you play anything like sports? Uh, okay. You're literally a pedophile. Bye-bye. So a lot of girls have to deal with creepy texts pretty much every single day over social media such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it. To escape these horrible messages, sometimes it's nice to just hop on the Xbox, play a few games of Fortnite, and have a great day. But it's not always that simple because Sometimes, you can get messages like this. Are you a girl? Yeah. Can I be your foot-licking slave? Please. <laughs> oh man, just imagine being a gamer girl, hopping onto Fortnite, as you can see in the background there, and then getting messages like this. You can literally see the Fortnite homepage just chilling out in the background there. <laughs> Which makes this 10 times better. Even Xbox gamers are trying to acquire feet pics now. It's incredible. Hey! Hey. You probably already know this. I'm Johnny. Yeah, lol. How's it going? Doing good. Just really tired. Same. I need more sleep, to be honest. Would you like to sleep with me tonight? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> I hope you're joking, my guy. Because I'm underage. I'm not asking for anything sexual. Sometimes a boy and a girl sleep together as friends. Um, no. Goodbye. Big tits. Um, I'm sorry to disappoint, but my male best friend has bigger tits than I. Yours are F, huh? Oh. Wanna see them? Yours? <laughs> Let's see. Ah, oh, let me see both. Um, wait, hold on a second. Did that actually work, or have I missed something here? <laughs> like, at first I thought she was gonna send for a picture of her boyfriend's boob, but then I read back and then I, I think she actually sent a picture of her own stuff. Oh my god. What's up? I need a dick pic. My friend never experienced one, and I need to show her. Yo, what? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm crying, <laughs> laughing my ass off. No, that's so weird. Come on, man. <laughs> Just tell her to download Tinder. God. We don't have time to waste. Mmm, I'm not just sending you a picture of my pee-pee. <laughs> hey, I'm 19 and go to college in Boston. I do not want a platonic relationship. I will be your daddy and breed you like the Bruh. bitch you are. No is not in my vocabulary and I will plunge myself deep into you every second I get. Slash S question mark? Most certainly not. Your halls are mine to fill. To fill with my thick white cream. I've already told you once before that I do not want anything platonic and I won't tell you again. Tell me your Snapchat. Nah, dude. I'll pass. Please dominate this white boy. I'd eat that ass till sunrise. Please, you're a goddess. You deserve to be worshipped accordingly. I hope you like farts. <coughs> Ew. Not into that. Anyways, guys, that is it for this episode of Creepiest Texts Ever.
I really hope you guys did enjoy, and of course, if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe, and check out the previous episodes. Have an absolutely amazing day, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Much love. Peace.